My buddy Mark Tobacco sent these blanks to me, and I'm going to attempt to turn a bespoke pin out of them. Now the bottom one, they're both from PSI. This is an aqua pearl blank, and the top one is an acrylic pin blank. Uh, I know from past experience that acrylic doesn't do real well with, uh, with tapping. Now I've been able to thread it effectively, so we're going to see what we can do with this one. I also have the added issue of this one already has a hole down the center. So I've got a couple of ideas. We're going to try some things to see if we can. I'm thinking this is going to be a nib, or I'm sorry, a section. And uh, I've got a few ideas for modifications to make that work. And then this is going to be the cap and the body. I've never attempted to tap or thread aqua pearl. So this should be a very interesting experiment. I cut off a piece of the acrylic blank to use for the section. And I want to show you, this is my most recent bespoke pin, and this is the Parker section I made. And I made the grip a little larger so that it would be more comfortable to grip. And what I'm finding is it's hard to write with. I end up holding it back here on the threads to write so that it's a little more comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a longer section. So this little uh, cone area will actually extend out to about here before the nib comes out of it. I think that's going to give me a much more natural writing position. So we're going to try that with this pen and see how it works out. Taking a closer look at this piece of acrylic, if I bring an ink refill over, you can see that it very easily and very loosely fits uh, through the hole in the center of uh, this blank. Now, if I want my nib of my refill to stick out, about this far past the end of my section, I got a problem because that hole is way too big. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a plug out of another piece of material to fit in the end of this. This nib will poke through that plug and I think that will alleviate the problem of what to do with such a large hole in the center of my blank. I've chucked up a piece of solid black acrylic and what I want to do is I need to get a tenon on here that will fit inside of this acrylic blank. So I took this over to my box of drill bits and I started fitting bits until I found one that fits snugly inside of the blank. It turns out this is an eye bit, so I'm going to take my calipers, we'll measure the diameter of this eye bit, and from there we should be able to turn this down to a matching diameter and glue it inside of our blank. Looks like what we're shooting for is 6.89 millimeters. I've turned down my tenon and I've got a nice tight fit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this piece of black acrylic inside of my acrylic blank. Before I do the glue up, I want to square the end of this blank to make sure it's perfectly flat so that I get the best fit between the two pieces as possible. Let's do a quick test. And I'm not seeing any gaps around the blank whatsoever. So let's get it glued up. I laid that section aside so that it could set and dry naturally and I can make sure that it is good and dry before I start working on it. And I turned my attention to the body and the cap. The most recent bespoke pin that I did, I put a random cap on it and I laid it next to this blank and it was exactly this length. What that did not account for is the shoulder that I'm going to have to put on the body so that I can add threads so that the cap can be uh, attached to the body when it's when the pin is closed. So that poses a little bit of a problem. The neat thing is though, since I'm lengthening the section, that means I'm going to need less space for the body. So I'm hoping once I decide how long the section is going to be and get that part of the pin made, then possibly that'll move me far enough back to allow me to have room for my shoulder and threads on the body. If it does not, we'll have to use an insert on the body of the, of the pin uh, as well. So we're going to pause and let this section dry because that's going to determine how the pin proceeds. I've given the glue plenty of time to dry and what I want to do is come back and face the end of this blank off. You can see how it's uneven. I want it to be flat so that I can hit it dead center and drill a 7 64 inch hole right down the center of this acrylic blank. And the reason I chose 7 64 is because that is the diameter of the nib end of my Parker refill. With the end of this blank faced off and perfectly square, I'm going to use the smallest starter bit that I have and I'm going to start a hole dead center. I'll then come back and drill a 7 64 inch hole all the way through this blank. With our hole drilled, I'm now going to true this front section up 
so that I can flip this around in the collet chuck and start working on the other end. I've got my section and I need to drill a 15 64 inch hole into the acrylic piece that I glued into the front of it. I laid an ink refill next to it and you can see where uh, the tip of the nib is lined up even with the tip of the acrylic and you can you'll see I put a black mark on the ink refill. This is how deep I want to drill into this section. Now if I seat the ink refill you can see I'm about three-eighths of an inch shy of where I need to be. We're going to drill that distance now. I just finished drilling my blank and you can see that I have drilled to the depth of the black mark on my refill so I'm really happy with that. The next step is to determine how long I want the grip portion of my section to be. Once I know that distance I can then measure back for how long I want the shoulder, the threaded shoulder to be. I'll part off the excess and we'll begin uh, threading our shoulder to fit inside of the body of our ink pen. Using my parting tool, I marked my section. This will be the grip portion, this will be the threaded tenon, and this is excess that's gonna get parted off. What I'm gonna do is take this section here down to 10 millimeters. I'm gonna leave this on for support, that way I can use my uh, 60 degree live center. When this is at 10 millimeters, uh, then we'll stop, we'll park this off, and we'll go ahead and thread this shoulder of our section. I got my tenon down to the proper diameter. I cut a little bit of a relief on the back and I cut the excess off. If we take a measurement out here on the end, we are at about 1037. And back toward the back of the tenon, I'm at about 1038. So I'm feeling really good about that. We're now going to get an M101 die and we're going to go ahead and cut some threads on this shoulder. I have to say that I was really quite surprised at how nicely this piece of acrylic took threads. I brought over the body of another bespoke pin and we're going to go ahead and test our threads, see just how they work. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. Okay, I've got a mandrel for sections and I'm going to get that mandrel installed uh, into the section. We'll flip that around into our collet chuck and we'll go ahead and start shaping uh, the, the uh, grip portion as well as the nib portion of our section. I've got the section of my pen roughly shaped the way that I want it to look. What I need to do now is we're going to remove it from the chuck. I'm going to bring an ink refill over and we're going to install it. And you can see that the refill or the nib of the refill doesn't poke through quite far enough. So we're going to put this back on the chuck and we're going to clean the end of this up and we're going to take it back just a tiny bit and we'll repeatedly check until the proper amount of nib is sticking through the end of the blank. Uh, and once that happens, we're ready to start sanding. It took a little trial and error, but I've got a really nice fit. That's exactly what I want. Uh, I used my tool and rounded over the end just a little bit and then I went to some 120 grit sandpaper and that's why it's so rough looking and finished it off. What I'm going to do now is put this back into the chuck. We're going to break out the micro mesh and we're going to micro mesh this and shine it up to where it looks amazing. I'll come back and show you when I'm done. Here it is fresh from the buffer, my brand new nib. We'll insert our ink refill and you can see that that is the perfect distance for the ink to stick out at the end of the pen. I've got a large grip area and with this longer nose cone it's much more comfortable to write with. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. I really hope you enjoyed my video tonight. I've been making a lot of these Parker refill sections for my pens and I've enjoyed making them. They're a lot of fun but each time I make one I take it to work and I use it for a few days and I try to decide you know does it feel right in my hand? Does it look right? And this is the most recent iteration of uh, these bespoke Parker sections. And I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to build the body for this pen so that I can take it and test it out because I think it's going to work out really well. I was going to go ahead and turn the body and the cap in this video as well, but once I finished uh, with this section, I thought, well, let's not make the video any longer. Let's go ahead and, and get this out there and show it to people. I can get your feedback, see what you guys think. 
and then uh, I'll put together another video uh, where I go ahead and make the body and the cap because each time you make one of these and each time I customize the section, I then have to customize the body of the pin, you know, because it's a different length for the, uh, to accept the refill and then the cap gets customized because it has to be longer to be able to uh, accommodate the longer uh, section. So it's, you know, it's kind of a give and take. Every, everything is custom each time you do it. And someone made a comment the other day, you know, I, I commented about making notes in a notebook and, and their comment to me was, well, how can you really use notes because it's custom every time? And yes, you are right. It pretty well is custom every time. However, uh, eventually you're going to hit on one you like, and if you've taken good notes, you ought to be able to recreate it time and time again, and then you ought to be able to get pretty accurate with lengths and, uh, and depths for drilling and, and, and those type of things. So stay tuned, guys. I'll, I'll have a body and a cap for this pin very soon, and um, if I don't like the way it writes and the way it feels, I'll probably have another one for you. <laughs> I'm having a great time making these. I hope you're having as much fun watching these videos as I am uh, putting them together for you. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a wonderful evening, everybody.